Hey everyone, thanks so much and hopping on this replay. I'm Shanna Maurice and I'm positively fit for life. Um, so the question of the day is, have you ever eaten a frog? I just ate a frog. <laughs> I did. It's a big deal. Um, so, you know, I didn't really eat a literal frog, although my dog might have. There she is there. Say hi, Bailey. Say hi. <laughs> uh, I can't, first of all, I can't get over this weather. I don't know about you, but I live in Virginia and it's 72 degrees in December. That's not fun. So, okay, so I ate a frog. <laughs> and what I mean by that is earlier this week, I scoped about reading a book, Eat That Frog. And so what does that mean, eat that frog? You know, that frog is that thing, that big thing that you have to do that you just don't want to or you want to but you're scared um, and you're not really scared for any real valid reason I mean in your mind it might be valid but it's not not usually a good reason you know so that frog is that thing that you just you got to get over and you got to do it. And so I did it today. Uh, so I'm Shanna Larice and I'm positively fit for life. And I like to scope about positive living and fitness and, you know, just overall life skills. And I just enjoy doing that. I enjoy inspiring people that's not what I do for a living I mean I have a job and sometimes there are things that you need to do in your job like to take you to that next level and you know you know that you're ready you know that you're capable you know that you're qualified but you just got to do this thing oh. so I had to do this thing I had to take this test and I've taken the test. I've taken the test twice. And I failed twice. And way back when, when that happened, which I don't fail things, I excel at things. So failing this test, like, killed my mojo. <laughs> it really did. Um, but I was told that it was okay, that it wasn't really, truly a measurement of my aptitude. But was it? Was it preventing me from being promoted to anything else? Was it promo uh, preventing me from any other potential jobs that I could have had? Possibly. Maybe not on the evaluator's side, but in my mind it was. It's kind of holding me back, confidently wise. Like my confidence was kind of like beaten down a little bit. So my manager way back then said to me, don't worry about it. It's not gonna affect anything. And I said, okay, I won't. So I didn't. I didn't worry about it. I felt good that she was okay. She knew my skills and I was good. I let it go. And then I got a new manager. Hmm. Who brought it up. I was pissed. I was pissed. I was pissed at him. Why? Because he was going to make me take this test. He said I needed to. I didn't need to. It wasn't a part of my job description. <laughs> I was justifying in my head that I didn't need to. And I was mad at him that he was making me do it when it had nothing to do with him at all. It was me. It was me and my fear of failing again. 
So why did I fail in the first time? I have no idea. I am, I don't like tests, period. I flat out have test anxiety. Growing up, my entire life, I've never been good at test anxiety, taking tests. However, was I really not good at taking tests? Or was that my excuse for not doing well on a test? Was it my true concentration and focus? Maybe. I tend to take on a lot and call myself a doer and uh, I tend to tell myself that I thrive in stressful situations. But do I really just take on way too much as opposed to honing down on the things that are important when they're important. I guess it has to do with like prioritizing things. Being able to say no when you have too much on your plate. I'm learning so much in my life as I'm getting older. <laughs> you know, you can't, you can't be taught these things. You learn these things. And there's no time in your life. You can learn them when you're young. You can learn them when you're older. But you know, I knew these things, but you don't really learn them until you absorb, you know, you got to absorb them. I guess something has to happen for you to have these realizations. And maybe it's Periscope that helps me get these things out in the open and to like say them. I'm scared of failing. I'm scared of it. I hate to fail. So if I'm not ready for something, I will avoid it because I'm scared of failing instead of concentrating, honing down, prioritizing, and eating that frog. Thank God I read that book this week. I'm not sure. I don't know. Confidently, I don't know if I would have passed this test in my own mind because I psych myself out. So, have you ever eaten a frog? I hope this scope session has been useful for you. Um, it is incredible to me that I passed this test, I feel pretty good about it. Meanwhile, I was telling myself that it wasn't important. Meanwhile, it was important. I now think that this test has just given me, I guess maybe that little confidence so that when I do in the future look for my career advancement that I'll have that confidence. Maybe, maybe something else will be brought to my attention. I consider myself a pretty confident person and I want to inspire people to let them know that you can do things. You just have to believe that you can. So what's your frog? What's your frog? Is it going into this new year and look, you know, doing something to better yourself. Uh, maybe, maybe it's sticking to a fitness regimen. Maybe it's finding, um, you know, making goals and putting them down on paper and taking yourself to them. Actually, you know, making a plan. <laughs> What's that, right? <laughs> Make a plan, guys. Make a plan going into this new year about what you are going to achieve. Put it in writing. When it's in writing, it's real. Do it, okay? Have a great weekend. I'm gonna enjoy the sunny day and I think I'm gonna go have a glass of wine. It's afternoon, right? It's good. See ya.